Hello and welcome to this week's Two Minute Tuesday. This week we're looking at the testing of pressurization systems. Instead of going to the detail of the test, which we'll save for a future video, we're going to give you an overview of the tests, tell you where to find the information you need about them, and point out some key considerations. The first place we'll look for information on testing pressurization systems is in BSEN 12101 Part 6, Section 12, Acceptance Testing. There are five acceptance tests detailed here. Pressure differential, net pressure differential, air velocity, opening door force, and activation of system. The first test, pressure differential, is designed to establish the pressure differential due to wind forces and the stack effect without the pressurization system running. If you'd like to find out a little bit more about the stack effect, I'll link a recent video in the description below and in the card up above. The second test, net pressure differential, is to establish the pressure differential between the pressurized zone and the accommodation with the system running. The third test is to measure the air velocity through an open door separating a pressurized and unpressurized space. The fourth test is to measure the door opening force and is done to make sure the doors between pressurized and unpressurized spaces can be opened within 100 newtons force at the door handle to make sure that people can evacuate when the system is running. The fifth and final test is to make sure the pressurization system activates when a trigger is received by the fire detection system. In buildings higher than eight stories, the first and second test should be carried out in groups of eight floors. The test can only be carried out when the installation is complete and the pressure differential system and where applicable air conditioning system have been commissioned and correctly balanced. Also, all building work will have needed to have been completed, even down to things like carpets and door ironmongery installation, as these things can affect all of the tests. The SCA guide also adds some additional recommendations. Lots of these recommendations are similar to procedures that would be carried out for the testing of all other smoke ventilation systems. For example, checking that all dampers work, checking automatic changeovers operate for standby fans and power supplies, etc. The full list can be found in section 9.3.6 of the SCA guide. I'll now briefly cover the equipment you'll need for testing a pressurization system. Whilst this isn't an exhaustive list of the equipment you might need, there are three key devices that you will need. All of these devices will need to be calibrated to have a tolerance of plus or minus 5% accuracy. First up is a manometer, which measures air pressure. This is used in the first two tests. Second is an anemometer. This measures air velocity and will be used in test three. Similarly to testing mechanical smoke ventilation system extract rates at a damper face, we take eight measurements over the doorway in question and find the average velocity. Finally, a force gauge. This is used in test four. We attach this to the door handle, disable the door latch, and pull in the direction of door opening, measuring the highest force achieved. I hope this quick overview of the tests involved in a pressurization system has been interesting. If you found it helpful, please give it a like. If you'd like more content like this, consider subscribing to our YouTube channel. And if you'd like shorter form content, check out our TikTok, which is linked in the description below. Thanks for watching, and as always, I look forward to seeing you next week. Bye for now.